Home and Garden Show, day one. What's up, Justin? Hey, man. Here is a before the garden theaters. So this has been a, a lot of fun. Um, you know, these guys, I've been in the industry for 30 years. I mean, I've, I've sold to contractors, I've sold to um, different suppliers, things like that. Their work is different than most other people I look at. They're artists. I mean, they really, I mean, they will. They'll take two hours on one rock. I mean, if you watch it, it's like, it looks good to me, but, you know, they're not quite satisfied. So here's where we'll be presenting. We're still waiting on chairs. Not much longer here. What's up, everyone? It's friendly neighborhood Pine King. We're down at the Minneapolis Home and Garden Show. Just got set up. Everything's going well. I gotta start wearing a hat. Is that a new one? Justin can't talk right now because the setup was pretty intense. He lost his voice. I make a sign that says, Just to show that he's I lost my voice. <laughs> Another one that says, like, Do you have a water feature? Yeah. <laughs> How about a fun? <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> Let's go check out the Garden Theater stage. That's where all the hard work went. All right, let's just check it out. So the theme of the Home and Garden Show for the Future Gardens this year was Lakeside Garden. Everyone had to have some kind of a feel like uh, you'd be by the lakeside. We heard that opportunity and we used large limestone outcroppings to get our height up. And we see a lot of shorelines where people have these nice limestone trunks. And then we did a cool little staircase to bring you up onto the platform. And we did a cool rustic little path with little moss and stuff in between the cracks to have this like rustic feel of an older path. By doing that, we were able to kind of give ourselves some different spaces. We really wanted to have the homeowner feel like I can really see that in this space in my yard. The first thing we did was we made our small deluxe path package of our waterfall. So what that is, is it's two pumps with two starting points and it's a wider waterfall. So you get more volume, you get to play with a little bit more rock and you also get some stream so it feels like it's a more substantial feature. So come check this one. So our next feature is our bubbling urn. It's a nice, healthy bird bath. With the water moving like that, it's not stagnant, so we don't attract mosquito larvae. It's a nice, fresh bath for the birds. They love to come land right on the lip of it, and they bathe right in the water. Now one of my favorites, it's just so popular, but it's a bubbling mushroom. We featured it from last year, but it's this year we put it right up next to a pine tree, so it has this feel that it's tucked into your garden. Last year we used the spillway bowl, so it's kind of like a unique setting, and I don't think many people were able to envision how that would work at their house. It was definitely that jaw dropping and, and very exciting to show people what we were capable of. This year we just want to do a more realistic application for it and more of a contemporary look. So we went with more clean lines, straight lines, more of a modern look. Um, something that was more manicured maybe. Thanks for coming to the Minneapolis Home and Garden Show. If you want to know just how big of an accomplishment it is for us, 13 pallets of pavers, ton of stone for our staircase, over 16 Christmas trees, 40 ton of this limestone block, 35 yards of sand, seven yards of mulch, six tons of boulders. So yeah, we have, we have a lot here. <laughs> 80 hours between Monday and, and uh, last night. Definitely an undertaking, but it's an accomplishment. I feel like it was a great opportunity and, and it turned out well. I don't know. Clothes. Pond King Water Gardens. Works of art, one yard at a time. Oh